Okay, today we're discussing L'Hopital's rule. L'Hopital? Lop Hospital? La Hospital? El Hospital? Yeah. All right. Whoops. What am I doing here? I got to make it work. There we go. Boom. Um, I know nothing. So, we're going to talk about local linearity first. Local linearity comes from the slope. E Slope-intercept equation. Okay? Slope-intercept equation. All right. So, let f be a differentiable function where f of 2 equals negative 3 and the slope at 2 equals negative 4. What's the approximation if f was 1.9? Well, we don't know what it is until we figure out what the function is, what the slope-intercept form equation is. So, if I have y equals mx plus b, I know y is negative 3, m is my slope, negative 4, x is my 2, and I have to figure out what b is. Okay, so how do I figure out b? Well, negative 3 equals negative 8 plus b, so b must equal, at 8 to each side, b must equal 5, right? So y equals negative 4x plus 5. There's my equation. What should I do with this 1.9 then? Plug it in. Negative 4 times 1.9 plus 5. Negative 4 times 1.9 is like 7.6. Negative 7.6 plus 5 is negative 2.6. There we are. Okay, that's my approximation. Okay, we can do that, right? Local linearity, pretty easy. Okay, so a local linear approximation at 1 is y equals 2x plus 8. What's the value of f of 1 plus the first derivative of 1? Okay, well, what's the first derivative of this function? It's the slope. So this is 2 is a slope. Um... And then f of 1, if we stick 1 into this function, 2 times 1 is 2 plus 8 is 10. 10 plus 2 is 12. Local linearity. whole lot easier than those ladder problems sliding against the house, right? Uh-huh. L'Hopital's rule. L'Hopital's rule happens when we have a limit which is 0 over 0. When you plug in and you get 0 over 0, you're stuck. Oh, can't do it. Unless we put in L'Hopital's rule, which Mr. L'Hopital figured out. He said, well, if we take the derivative at the top and the derivative at the bottom and then stick the number in, hey, we can figure it out. Not every time. If we don't get it the first time, we take the derivative at the top and the derivative at the bottom. If it doesn't work that time, we take the derivative of top and derivative of bottom. And keep taking the derivatives until we plug it in. And sometimes we get to a point where, mm, no, it doesn't work. But most of the time it does. Okay. So, here. If we stick in a 3, we get 9 minus 9 over cosine of 3 pi over 2. And the cosine of 3 pi over 2 is 0. This is 0. So, we get 0 over 0. So, we in can do L'Hopital's rule. What's the first derivative of 9 minus x squared? 2x. Negative 2x. And we take, this is not, this is not the quotient rule now. Lopi tells you don't do the quotient rule. It's just the derivative of the top, derivative of the bottom. Okay? When it's 0 over 0, you take the derivative of the top, derivative of the bottom. What's the first derivative of the cosine of pi over, pi over 2 of x? Negative sine of pi over 2 times x times the first derivative of the inside, which is pi over 2. 
Okay. So if we stick in a 3 here, we get negative 6 over, stick in a 3 here. Um, the sine of 3 pi over 2 is negative 1. The negative of that is positive 1. Positive 1 times pi over 2 is pi over 2. Now, complex fraction. How do we get rid of a complex fraction? Multiply by the denominator of the denominator. So it's negative 12 over pi. There we are. L'Hopital's rule. Let's do this one. What's the first derivative of negative cosine of x? Sine of x. Oh, we should, we should really put in this and test it first. If we test it, we get 0 over 0. Okay. What's the first derivative of the denominator here? You see it? Because it's just x and then a number. So sine of x over 1, sine of pi over 2 is 1. So the answer is 1. Oh, look at this. L'Hopital's rule. Easy peasy. Oh, what if we have E's involved? What's the first derivative? Oh, so if we put in a if we put in a 1, we get 0 here. So 1, wait. If we put in a 1, we get e here. e minus e is 0. Put in a 1, we get 1 minus 1, which is 0. So we get 0 over 0. Got to in, in, introduce L'Hopital's rule to this. So if we take the first derivative of the top, you have to do the what rule? Product rule. x times e to the x plus e to the x times 1. And then minus e is minus 0, so that doesn't matter. Woo! Come back. Over, what's on the bottom? 2x. Okay. Now, if we put a 1 in here, we get 1 times e to the 1 plus e to the 1 over 2 times 1. So it's 2e over 2, which is e. L'Hopital's rule. Um, put in 0 here, you get 0 over 0. Um, so what's the first derivative of the top here? So the first derivative there is 2e to the 2x times the first derivative of the top times 2 over chain rule. 2x plus 1. So if we stick in a 0, e to the 0 is 1. 2 times 1 is 2, times 2 is 4 in the numerator. Put in a 0 here, 1 in the denominator, 4 over 1 is 4. Natural log of x, x natural log of x. So to do this one, we have to do the, the product rule on top. So it's x times 1 over x plus ln of x times 1 over 2x. So these cancel, so it's 1 plus ln of 1 over 2 times 1. So it's the ln of 1 over 2. Ooh, ooh. Did I make a mistake or am I, I did this right, right? 1 plus ln of 1. Oh, what's the ln of 1? 0. So it's 1 over 2. Okay. Do we need to do this one or are we good? We're good for the day? Okay. Because I have three more examples I could give, but I think you guys get the gist of it, right? Okay. That's it. So we. I'm going to assign. I, I'm going to assign this stuff, two quizzes, and the Khan Academy test. So tomorrow we're going to review we're going to review for the AP classroom test and on Tuesday we'll take the AP classroom test but you'll have all of Thanksgiving break to work on the Khan Academy test.